um, I'm doing I'm doing a little bit of a training um, for a client, so I thought I would actually share my screen and show you what I'm doing. Um, she wanted some some tips on her profile and things that she could do to really optimize it, um, you know, for for lead generation. So um, here's some things that I want to show you. This is my personal um, Facebook page. Um, one of the things you need to know about Facebook is that they do, uh, in Google, is things on Facebook are searchable. And obviously, if you're in business, you want to have sort of a public page. Um, you don't want to really hide certain things, which, you know, I know a lot of people have privacy issues. But if you're in business, the goal is that people do actually find you, right? So um, some of the things you have to do to your profile or just be aware of in your profile is that, you know, Google searches it. You know, unless you have privacy controls on, um, you know, it's going to find your page. And for a business person, that's not a bad thing. Um, so that means you have to have certain parts of your profile on your, your personal profile and your business profile really filled out. So the first thing I want to show you here, um, and this is just my page, um, is that um, under work and education, if you have a business page, there's a way to link those pages. You can see that I've done that here. Um, you know, I have kind of a snappy title here. I've seen people put... Um, uh, you know, like my page here. I mean, you can kind of do anything with the title, um, but it, what it allows you to do is to be able to link to your business pages um, right into your personal profile. And the benefit of that is that your friends and family and anyone who's maybe following you can easily click over and get access to your page. This is such an important thing to optimize, and a lot of people just don't do it or they do it the wrong way. So let me show you, um, this is one of the websites that I own. I, I'm, I have a blog uh, for health and wellness. Um, so I'm going to just sort of show you how you can do this. Um, you basically create a new position, um, and you put the title here, owner and blogger. You know, this can be changed um, to CEO. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Um, so you basically pick out whatever the right title would be. Uh, you put your location here. Um, and, you know, do a description of, of, of what it is that you're actually doing there. You know, this is a curated blog. You know, you're going to want to optimize this so that um, you have the right words in it um, and that if people are interested in learning more that they can click on or over. Um, and basically, we're going to do this again. I'm going to do it all over again. Um, and we're going to hope that this works because um, I've noticed that Facebook has been weird about this lately. So you basically are going to search for your page. So my uh, curated blog page, uh, my Facebook page for that is Fuel Wellness. Um, so I'm going to put in CEO, I'm going to put in, you know, where I live, um, and this is really just a test, but you would fill this out. Um, you could do that you currently work here, you can add the years. So I started this in um, uh, 2014. You know, and now you can decide if somebody sees this, if it's public, if it's friends. I think these things need to be public, especially if you're in business online and you want people to find out what you're doing. Um, and so you basically would save this. And we're going to go out to the overview here. Um, timeline. Um and you could see it underneath here, but they only allow so many ones to say uh, to show. But I can decide here which one I want. So if I really want to showcase um, uh, my marketing business, which is why it's checked there, I do. So that's why it's number one. If I really wanted to go to the Fuel Wellness one that we just did, that's the one we just did. Um, and you can see if you hover over it, it goes right to your page. So guess what? Now people can hyperlink right over and see what you're doing. Okay, so that's the benefit of doing that. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to edit this. Um, and just delete it because I don't need to. Uh, Um, and so here's the one, the other business page that I have, um, and it's it's no different. The process is no different than what I mentioned, but this is a little bit important to 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 kind of remember. Um, you know, your title up here can be anything. I've seen people do um, like my 
business page here, you know, and then you can do an arrow, whatever. It doesn't matter, but, you know, whatever you think will be kind of cute and people will want to um, click on it. Um, right here is my statement of what, what I do, because if people don't know, I want to be able to give them a good sense of, of who I am. So this is sort of a brief description. Um, and make sure you put it with put um, your little keywords in there, um, because if other people are going on Facebook looking for certain things, this is something that's searchable. Um, so this is my sort of long description. Ten years of marketing campaign, product launch experience, helping home business and small business owners grow their business. Um, and I tell them how I do that with traditional marketing, online marketing. Um, and then I tell them what my website will offer in, in offers now. So this is kind of my main business. So let's go back out and look and see. Now, I want to prioritize now so you can choose which one actually shows. So I'm going to have the marketing one. So now everyone comes to my personal page. They're going to go, oh, she's got a business page? And click right over here. You see? OK. So that's one real easy trick. Uh, and a lot of people are not really doing that. Um, and it's really something that they should uh, they should do because I don't know how many pages I've gone to. A lot of these pages are done the right way, but a lot of them do not have this information. And then I have to per PM the person or send a message. And the truth is people aren't going to wait for that. They, they get, you know, ADD attention spans. <laughs> I'm a busy person. You're a busy person. So you want to maximize the opportunity for people to find your page um, and don't make them look for it, you know. So make sure you go in there. You add your new work position. You add your title. You optimize your description with the right keywords. You make it real clear what you do. And then you link them. You basically search for your own business page. And it should come up in the search. And you just hyperlink it. It ends up becoming a permanent link. Okay. The other thing you can do on your about page. Again, this is your personal page. Um, is under your about you to talk about who you are. Now, obviously, your business is a part of who you are, but this is another great opportunity to share a little bit about yourself. Um, I have 10 years of experience in marketing. I help people grow their business online. I'm a marketing strategist, social media fanatic, business trainer, blogger, entrepreneur. Um, so this gives people a sense of who I am. And then, I'm, again, I'm linking them over. I'm giving them my Facebook business page, and I'm linking them over to my website. Um, I think quotes are great, and I think especially um, depending on what business you are, you're, you're, you're all about motivation. I'm a motivational person. Um, I like telling people who I am through quotes. Um, and if you're on my trainings or if you go to my website, you'll know that that's the case. Um, so, you know, use this opportunity to, to pick some of your famous motivational quotes. Maybe you're following a, a great business leader uh, and you, you love, you know, their quotes about, you know, leadership. You know, put them here because it's going to help people understand a little bit about who you are. Um, and again, it's all about attracting that ideal customer. So think about what that ideal customer needs to hear. Okay. So let's go to the business page because there's things on the business page that I want to point out. Um, so I'm clicking over to my marketing consultant page. Um, the first thing that you should think about optimizing here is your cover. Um, now, I created this cover myself, cost me nothing. I did this in Canva. That's C-A-N-V-A dot com. Sometimes I do it with two A's, I'm not sure, but just search for Canva. It's a program that allows you to create images, and you, you don't really have to pay anything for some basic images. Um, and you basically build this yourself to the, to the right um, um, you know, dimensions and everything. And they have templates. They're, it's amazing. Um, and so I'm promoting a new Instagram course, so I just created this. Um, but this area here, when people click on it, um, again, you want to make it really simple. You also want to make sure that they get over to whatever course you're looking to do or you're looking to promote. If it's a, maybe you're putting an ebook here, if your ebook is on sale, or if you're doing a free ebook, or you're doing a free free 30 minute consultation, whatever your cover page is promoting, make sure you have a link over to what that offer is. Um, my offer happens to be right on my home page, so I'm telling people, you know, go to my home page to get signed up. Um, this is a great beginner course for anyone who's looking to leverage Instagram for their business and marketing and branding. Um, and so you can also tag yourself in it if you want, um, but minimally you want to have the right kind of image here that's a call to action. People want to click on it. They want to know what's going on here. And then you create the right link, right, and bring them right over to that opportunity. Okay, so the second area um, that people need to optimize is the about area here. Um, and this is an area that um, 
you know, when you're on your phone especially, you can get to this, there's like a special button you have to get to. Um, you basically click on a more or something like that and it shows your the about information. So this is the ideal place to put anything that's a lead magnet, anything that you're promoting that's a freebie, that's a giveaway, um, that you, you want um, to offer people so you can get in exchange for that, their email address, this is the place that you want to do it. Okay, so you the challenge is to try to sum up what the offer is and what the page is about in, in these character spaces because you only have a limited space. Um, so mine says here, I share marketing tips and tools to help you grow your business and your um, online. Um, and then I introduce my my opt-in offer, my lead magnet, which is make money using email with forty with my forty hot list billing tips. And then this is a Bitly link. Um, if you don't know what a Bitly is, you can go to bit.ly. Um, you just put that in your browser, and it'll take you to Bitly. Um, and Bitly is a great place to to have your links stored. Um, you basically cut and paste links to whatever, um, and they shorten the link. They create the Bitly link here, um, and it masks sort of what's underneath it. Why does that matter? Because you, in, especially in in Twitter, you have limited character space. Um, the most important thing, though, to me, and the reason I use Bitly links is I want to track how many clicks. So Bitly will show you how many people have clicked on this link. And if you have similar offers in similar places, you can compare how many people are clicking on this link in Instagram, how many people are clicking on it in Google, and how many people are clicking on it in Facebook. So I may be able to find out which social network is actually the best place for me to promote a specific offer. Um, so I always tell people, it's one of my number one marketing tips is use Bitly links so you can track all this data. Um, so you're going to put your Bitly link here with your offer, and then of course here is just your website, which you can have as a Bitly link, but for branding purposes, because I want people to brand, you know, think about me and my website um, and my name because I'm the product. Um, I don't do Bitly links for my website, but I do for specific offers within it um, and different courses. Okay, so that's just how I do it. Um, so that's the other place you want to maximize for lead generation and also. Um, this area here, I just clicked on the About tab, and Facebook's changed a little bit. Um, you know, you only have one tab here, uh, and I'm going to go through some of these tabs later. So it's really important because you have less of those tabs that you used to have before. Um, that this area has as much information as possible. So if you're going to notice that this area here is your About area that we just talked about, this can always change. If you have a new offer, if you have a new promotion, you can always change this. Um, your biography is really an extended about me page, right? It gives people a sense of who you are. Um, and so, in my opinion, I think you have to sort of give them a sense of what they're going to get if they work with you um, from a 30,000 foot, foot view um, and not so down to tactics, right? So what I mean by that is talk about who you are as a leader and a mentor and a trainer, what strategies you, you use, why people want to follow you, why they should follow you, what have you accomplished, what have you done in business that's you know, substantial and important for them to know about. Um, and then make sure you, you close by talking them to them about what, what you provide. Um, and you can be specific here, you can be very general in the end, but in the beginning I think you need to kind of give people a sense of who you are kind of um, in a holistic sense. Um, and then you can get down to specifics, you know, here, you know, whatever tactic you're using to market your, to, to promote your, your opportunity or your business. Um, if you're a social media trainer, if you're a blogger, if you're a business coach, you know, who's had years of success, you know, you want to end with concrete examples of, of the value that you have, right? Uh, and under basic info, a lot of this stuff um, is simple, straightforward. Um, I kind of, I'm a humorous person, so I, I have different awards in here that are completely unrelated to business, but are important to me. It's like I've been voted the number one ant, so you know that's number one because that's probably more important to me. But if you have any achievement awards, top sales, you know, I developed some top sales tools for a couple of years. I need to update this because that's not right. The years, um, it's been a couple of years running um, in my old business. But if you have books, if you have things that you've done that you've been given awards for, that only boosts your credibility. You need to fill that in. Um, and then products. This is really, I see a lot of people who have products on their website who don't actually list their products <laughs> on their page. I don't, I don't understand why, but maybe they just don't know. Um, again, this is something that someone can search, that Google can find. So if you want people to really specifically know the products and services that you offer, list them. Um, so I have an Instagram crash course, and there's a link to the Instagram crash course. I have a training on how to build your personal and leverage and build your personal brand. 
Um, that's actually about to be a paid ebook. It's no longer going to be free, um, but you can get it right now <laughs> for free. Um, I also promote an ultimate branding bl blueprint, which is a, a blog course um, that a lot of people actually have purchased uh, in the last few months. They're really happy with, and you can build up your business blog um, really easily with this training. Um, so you might have 10 other products. I mean, just fill it out completely with the link so that people want to hot link over to that particular offer, they can do so. Um, and your personal information, I mean, you can get as specific as you want, but remember this is a business page. Um, so talk about hobbies, talk about what you like to do, talk about your mindset, what makes you, what's passionate for you, what are you passionate about, um, you know, what have you overcome? So there's a lot of cool things that you can actually um, talk about that will have an impact on your, um, on your customers in a positive way. Um, or on your clients. Um, so it's really important when you talk about the group, and I do this in the personal information section, um, that you tell them that it's a spam-free page because people are very aware, you know, that there's lots of groups, there's a lot of places that people go on Facebook, especially where there's just tons of spam. Um, make sure you're clear about the goals of the group. Um, I put it really clearly here. It's this is my corner, little corner of the world. Um, hang here with me and under other entrepreneurs and learn about the latest trends and tools in lead generation, networking, and social media. Um, and I mentioned that it's a spam-free page. This is really important. I think it makes people a little more comfortable. Uh, and what are your personal interests? I mean, think about how you want to relate to other people. Um, and, you know, you can be funny with it. You don't have to just have it all be business. But, you know, I'm a foodie. I love reality TV. I admit that. I admit it. I do. Um, I'm a tech geek, I admit that too. I love personal development, cooking, movies, anything nostalgic, anything 1980s, I'm totally there. Um, so there's a lot of different interests I have, but use this to, to really um, find, uh, to really illustrate who you are in terms of your personal interests. Because if you're looking for someone to market or to promote your products to, buy your products, so we're talking about customers, if you're looking for people who, you know, your business coach, um, they're gonna look for different interests that you have that they might have in common. Um, so remember, even though it says personal interests here, you know, you don't want to get into somebody, some personal things, you know, some people have different things here in that part of the <laughs> profile that are a little scary. Um, but you remember, keep it business, but also make sure you're, you're approachable and relatable. Um, so if you have specific life events that are important to your business, you can do that. Um, right now I, you know, basically put in different things related to how many likes I have, but and this is sort of my way of engaging with people on my page. Um, but there's other things that you can put. Um, I just had you know, a guest blog post published um, that I could add here. Um, if you do a lot of guest blog posts, if you do speaking engagements, you know, these are events that are really important business milestones. It's also a great way to um, on your page to kind of continue that engagement. Um, and it only really helps your, your credibility if you have all of these great milestones kind of laid out. Um, so that's something is just a, a suggestion that you use those that area for life events. Uh, and over here you have these other tabs. Um, so as I said before, there were many more tabs. They got rid of them. I I don't know if I love it or don't love it, but it's different. Um, and you can have a number of <clears throat> different. Um, you'll have a number if you click on your more here. You're gonna have a number of different areas here. Um, now I have photos in YouTube. Um, YouTube's an app. Photos is, is generic. You'll have that as well. I also have my Instagram feed because I do a lot of stuff over on Instagram for marketing in my business. So if I want, I can say, hey, I want my Instagram feed to be up here. So guess what? This is a great way if I want people to follow me on Instagram, which I do, to, um, to kind of connect them there so they can see everything that I post here without having to leave Facebook. Um, or if they want to, they just, you know, there's my username they can decide that they want to follow me. Um, if you have YouTube videos and training videos and different things that you do, um, you could choose to have this showing. Um, this was my last training that I did. Um, and if you want to go and grab this, you can. It's totally free. I talked about how you can craft your About Me page and your blog to increase your credibility and your promotion. Um, and so I spent about an hour um, with people talking about, about pages. And I even showed them some great examples. Um, but the great thing here is that people can come right here into the YouTube um, tab and they can actually start right here watching the video. Okay, so I think that's pretty cool. I like that there's a YouTube tab. So you can kind of decide what actually shows 
um, at, in the two spots that you have available. Um, the other thing that I have, because I have lead pages, and I think lead pages is, I mean, I've gone through other programs before I bought lead pages, um, but I think lead pages is the best program you can buy, um, especially if you're a newbie and you aren't much into kind of crafting your own landing pages and sales pages. Um, this takes a lot of time out of your pocket. It means you don't have to spend tons of time um, kind of creating your own pages. You basically take their templates, add some detail in about your particular offer, um, and they're high converting pages. I mean, I, I can't tell you how much I love lead pages. But anyway, because I have lead pages, any page that I develop in lead pages, I can publish to my tab. So if I have a promotion, um, and I just told you I did a really f a great free training last week about my about page, um, and I gave away this. I gave away to everybody who came to the training, and I'm, I'm giving it away to everybody, really, but um, everybody on that training first had access to um, these particular um, worksheets. So I created this in lead pages. Um, these are worksheets that they can download and use, and you can download and use to actually craft a really great about page and it walks you through all the elements that you need to think about um, from your offer uh, to what your value is what your vision you know and you need, really need to spell that out in your about page so basically people click here um, and it takes them to my opt-in form so I can I have a lead generating tool right on my Facebook page because of lead pages so I love lead pages but I mean my goal in showing you this is not to promote that necessarily but to just let you know that you have options on your tabs here um, that you really need to think about how am I going to use them especially now that you're there you only have a, a smaller a number of spaces here to do that um, so you can also manage your tabs so you can decide what's where now Facebook doesn't allow you to move certain things your about page uh, your about tab stays on top but you can move this. So if I didn't want my, for whatever reason, this was a promotion I, I wanted to not promote. I don't know why I do that. I can have my likes move up and I can have this move down. I can move that up. I can have my Instagram feed here. I can move YouTube up. And I can say, I, I don't care about likes and photos, and I really don't. Um, and I want these two things and these three things at the top. So now I'm going to save that. So that means you have two spaces here that you can, you can pretty much have whatever you want. Um, so my about me worksheets or whatever promotion and then I want people to get to YouTube okay so these are areas just to think about um, optimizing if you're a trainer you have tons of YouTube videos connect your YouTube channel up here um, and then you know do a post on your page and let people know hey go to this tab if you want to get my latest training you don't even have to leave Facebook okay so you know that's pretty much it I wanted to just show you some things that you could do on your Facebook um, business page and on your personal page to make sure you're getting as much leads as you can from Google um, and that you've given as much information and detail as you can about your business and your opportunity and your value to um, your potential customers so I hope you found this useful um, it'll be on my YouTube channel so you can always reference it and I'm going to add some links underneath the video to some of the resources that I mentioned in this in this training so you can get access to that um, let me know what you think, and um, happy marketing.